Hey everyone, this is Scarlet with some more Let's Play Xenosaga Episode 1. What a mess. When we last left off, what Whatever a mess. It was, they sure went all out. You think there's anything left out there? Well, hey, an android. Tony, how long before the Federation gets here? Well, let's see. The last SOS went out a half an hour ago, so... We've probably got at least three hours, right? No sign of any nearby ships either, right, Hammer? They're yep. kind of salvaged the from the dead. Light year radius. You guys are terrible. I love All you. All right. That should be enough. Read his head. Let's grab anything that looks salvageable. His head. It says caution, caution. You know, Captain. I'm a I realize the deadline for paying back Master Guinan is right around the corner, but don't you think this is a little risky? I mean, if the Feds find us out, we'd be lucky to get ten years. That's if they find out. You know the Feds aren't going to patrol all the way out here in the middle of nowhere. Well, I just don't like the idea of feeding off the dead. <laughs> I mean, what are we? Space jackals? Vultures? Hyenas? You moron. What kind of metaphor is that? Don't be comparing us to extinct animals. You'll jinx us. They're extinct. We're recyclers, That's damn terrible. It. Environmentally friendly space recyclers. Sure. Master That's what Guinan they call it. told us to stay away from any side jobs, remember? And now they're he doing said a side job. The foundation's image. I don't know. Oh ho! We got a wrecked ship here. Three o'clock. Looks like a Ganymede class. Nice work there, Tony. Good thing we were tapping the UMN emergency channel. You guys are Come terrible on, pull people. Come pull in close. Hurry. Yep. We're vultures. What was that? So they're here to pillage off of the dead corpse of the little Glende ship. Ah, <sighs> they're terrible. bad. Spectrum matches up perfectly. It's a geocrystal. All right, not bad. Let's start with that one. Don't think that's a geocrystal. Them's a body. Hi, Cosmos. Ugh, that's not a geocrystal, you idiot. It's a corpse. Well, what'd you expect? This is a battlefield. That's eh, no big deal. Don't bother wasting fuel. Just keep going and let it bounce off. Ah! You're kidding, right? My dead grandma told me to be respectful of the dead. My dead grandma. Sorry, but I don't want any bad karma. You do it, Captain. You moron. What? Is that your grandfather out there? <laughs> yes, Cosmos is Tony's don't grandfather. Don't be ridiculous. Just shut up and keep moving. <laughs> You're so Man, nice. Not again. Captain, this is so typical of <laughs> And they didn't see it move. All the dirty work. You moron! What the hell are you doing? I said bounce it off! Well, don't look at me. It got stuck on its own. It's not my fault. Whatever. The body got Just stuck on its it. own. I don't think a hey, body in space would look like that. She might be cute, you know? <laughs> uh, you think it's a dead corpse. <laughs> ass, you sicko. Who the hell cares how she looks? She's dead. Exactly. Good job. Besides, she's facing the other way. It's a shame we can't meet face to face. Oh my god, you're you guys are terrible. And then suddenly, hi. Ah! She's Please in fact open not your dead. Communications line. I need to speak with you. Frequency two zero two zero. Ha! A talking corpse. You moron! Open your eyes! That ain't no corpse! This ain't happening. This ain't happening. It, uh, it's a realian. Or a cyborg. I don't think even realians like can that. survive in the vacuum but of space. I've never heard of a realian that can operate out in space. There we go. Well, it's probably a military robot or something. Just open the channel. I was pretty close on that one. Uh, <clears throat> I'm Captain Matthews of the Tramp Freighter Elsa. We received your SOS signal earlier. It happened to be within range of our navigational path, uh, so we rushed here to your rescue. Rescue? Huh? Rescue? rescue. <laughs> <laughs> He's so abusive. Uh, <clears throat> I love Matthews. So, is there anything we can do to assist you? What do you mean, rescue? What about our side job? Relax, you moron. We're gonna grab what we can while taking care of this little rescue. With this mess, I bet there's no one left alive anyway. <laughs> you probably hear I will everything. Make this brief. I request that you gate jump to second Milsha immediately. Say what? Oh yeah. Keep dreaming, sweetheart. We can't leave yet. We still got work to do. And besides, second Milsha? 
Have you any idea how much it would cost to travel that far? There is no need for concern. We will cover all UMN gate fees incurred. You expect us to believe that? Even if that were true, we've got other business to attend to right <laughs> now. We don't have that kind of time. My time is limited as well. Failure to comply will result in the destruction of this window. Why does her hair <laughs> or Go ahead. why does her Give mouth even try. need to move while she's in the vacuum the space? Forward to window speak. can withstand direct hits from debris as big as six millimeters. A punch from a girly like you wouldn't even dent. Six millimeters <laughs> isn't a lot. This window will shatter. It appears that none of you are wearing spacesuits. Keep in mind that I am making this proposal with goodwill. I could just as easily toss you out into space and take over the ship. Uh, okay, okay! Yeah, we'll do it, we'll do it! Don't be so rash! Kosos is kind Had of a bitch! me from the outset, we would have saved 1 minute 45 seconds. <laughs> Cosmos, I, I love you. Now. Please open the cargo bay. Yeah, right. One more thing. What? What? Do not accelerate in an attempt to knock me off. If you do so, I will destroy the engine and the entire ship with it. <sighs> She's got us, Red. <laughs> Shut up. Cosmos is too badass to be to pull a fast one over her. <gasps> right up the non-existent skirt. There's no sound in space. How are you making sound? Oh wait, it's sci-fi. Screw the rules of science. Huh? Hey, Captain. I've got someone on the open channel. Who could it be? Survivors? Uh oh. Uh, hold on. Well, I'll put it on the speakers. <laughs> Hi, Alan! How are you doing? Space pod. Hello? Anyone? If anyone is scanning this channel, please help! Come on, Chief, you give it a try. That's not gonna help. Don't worry. A rescue ship will come for us eventually. I'm more concerned about Cosmos. Now, where could she be? Well, she was standing on How top of you. Now Besides, she's in a ship. We're not out of the woods yet. I mean, the Gnosis might still be around. He's got a point there. I'm not worried about that right now. We have to retrieve Cosmos. Forget about Cosmos. What about us? Uh, she has got a one-track mind. Wouldn't have let everyone else go first. Maybe they're still around. You think? I can't believe you, Alan. How can you be so insensitive? How can you be such a bitch? Happened. What do you mean? Of course I'm traumatized. Chief, that was really uncalled for. Think that I'm an emotionless android? No, Cosmos is. For you to even think that is the most traumatizing thing of all. No, I never said anything like that. You just did. You think I'm an android, don't you? <laughs> what the hell? No, if you're an android, she'd be uh, in love with you. Uh, hey. Xion. Cosmos? Cosmos, is that you? Where are you right now? I am on board a civilian ship passing through the area. Please remain at your current locale. A Federation rescue vessel should arrive soon. Remain here? Cosmos, just what are you up to? I am commandeering this ship to go to Second Milsha. These are my orders from headquarters. You're going with? <laughs> Wait a second! What about us? Unfortunately, you were not mentioned in my orders. Ooh, Therefore, burn. this mission takes priority. Oh, I see. What, you expect us to sit here and wait for the cavalry? That is the logical what the hell is... Wait a second! What guarantee do we have that the Federation Banging. will dispatch a rescue? What if no one comes? 
The two of us will starve to death inside this pod. Okay, you hopefully can't do that this. doesn't happen again. Actually, suffocation would come first. Oh, that's Your great, Cosmos. Will be depleted in 46 hours. Oh, in that case, suffocation? That is correct. But you are very... percent probability that a rescue vessel will arrive within 15 hours. Your chances of survival are high, but this is not a certainty. You're very bad at, at comforting people, Cosmos. Really bad. There's no way I'm going to allow this. You cannot act on your own, Cosmos. Bring us on board immediately. There is no time for this. I am signing off. Xion, Alan, please take care. Now just wait one second, Cosmos. You better bring us on board, or I'll open the hatch. You hear me? What? <laughs> what are you doing, Chief? I will commit suicide. Please, don't do anything what? crazy. Be quiet, Alan. She has no concern for her own Listen life. To me, Cosmos. Or anyone else's. You know what'll happen if I turn this lever, right? Doesn't this go against your directive? No. Oh. You're supposed to bring us back alive. Am I right? Gonna call her bluff, Cosmos? You are delaying me yep. from my mission. I suggest you do as you please. Her prime directive is gonna be failed! Why not help her? Chaos! <laughs> He's one of my favorite characters. <laughs> Sounds like she means it. He's so sweet. And hey, very, Chaos. very feminine. You're up. With all this racket, who could sleep? <laughs> Them shorts. Cosmos has a crush! Well, more that she's realizing the door didn't actually open, he just appeared. So, is that okay with you? Well, it looks like she doesn't have any objections. So, it's all up to you, Captain. Cosmos moves. What do you say? <laughs> she has a crush. <laughs> I'm calling uh, it now. Cosmos well, has a crush on now. So. Sure, Chaos. I don't mind. Poor Xion. Xion has no chance. That is the only time in pretty much the entire series where Cosmos actively looks uncomfortable. Is when Chaos touches her. Hey, it's Trenkov. Excuse us. Uh, um, we... I'm Captain Matthews. Icebreaker. My name is Shion Uzuki, and I'm from Vector Industries' first R&D division. And this is my co-worker, Alan Ridgely, who also works in the same division. We do apologize for all the, the trouble our errant customers may have caused. The lip-syncing in this game is so bad sometimes. Time. Come on, Ellen. Show them your gratitude. <laughs> uh, right. Thank heavens you were around to rescue us. We almost became space dust out there because of my stubborn boss here. <laughs> ah! You ought to save your thanks for, for chaos over there. For a second there, it almost looked like she made him bleed. We were just gonna leave you and fly on out of here. Oh, I see. Grab his hand. Thank you, Chaos. No, don't mention it. After all, we all need a little help sometimes. Yeah. He often saves our hides too. So, we can't turn him down when he asks for a favor. Ha! <laughs> They've got I some pride, him. or... No, no that's not that pride. Me. Uh, honor? There we go. They have some hey, honor. Cosmos. And just what do you think you're doing? You left us and then tried to go to Second Millship by yourself. Maybe your OS is malfunctioning or something. She shouldn't be able to act on yes, her own. that is possible. <laughs> possible? By the way, what were the orders from HQ? Captain Matthews, may I use the maintenance lab next to the hangar? Just a second, Cosmos. Yeah, <laughs> sure. She's ignoring Xion. Cosmos, 
Due to the limitations of the test juice condenser, my energy reserves are almost depleted. I wish to receive a co-generator bypass in order to replenish them. Hey! What is wrong with you? Answer me, Cosmos! So, you'll cover the bill, right? Yes. Cosmos! Uh, yes? My sensors appear to be malfunctioning. Please adjust them before we disembark at our destination. Wh why should I? I'm angry Please, at you. Sean, this is part of your job, is it not? They are having a lover's spat. <laughs> because Cosmos found a new boy. <sighs> <laughs> I'm terribly sorry. The girl is just so stubborn. I do apologize for all the trouble she's causing. It's all right, I'm actually enjoying it. This ship's much livelier with more crew members. And I'm gonna you get myself a right. girlfriend. We can always use some more women around here. How about it? Once we arrive, how about you and I get a suite and settle in with a nice bottle of wine? Poor Alan. What? Hey! <laughs> uh, uh, sure. All right, that's enough, Tony. They'd ever get to the bottle of wine. Never mind her. At least she's a real girl. The other one's not even human. She's battle weaponry. You think so, huh? She appears to be just like any other human to me. I think you need to get your eyes checked, Chaos. Captain. Either that or you have a question. Any chance too. of stopping at Sunir? Hmm? That's en route on the column. Three or so days from Italia. If that's your destination, sure, I can do that. I see. And the fee? Today just ain't my day. And getting greedy now won't do me any good. I'll just put it on the tab. Aww, he's so nice. I appreciate it. Ah, don't mention it. You're a Marine. Let's just chalk it up to my bit of charity for the Corps. 